So how does the information get up there? How do we get the information from these joint muscle mechanoreceptors, which incidentally we can affect with acupuncture needles, up to the brain? We've got a couple different pathways, the dorsal columns, the spinal thalamic tract for pain, and the spinal cerebellar tracts um, for more proprioceptive um, type of information. Okay, here's some sensory pathways here. Dorsal column basically is ipsilateral until I get to the brainstem, right? So the information comes from the receptor, okay, goes through the peripheral nerve, comes into the dorsal horn of the spinal cord, travels up, okay, with leg information kind of on the outside, arm information on the inside, opposite of kind of what you'd think, right? And then when it gets up to the cervical medullary junction, it crosses. And something you'll remember is all second order neurons always cross. That's just something that might be useful to know. So information will cross and then ultimately come up through this thing called the medial lemniscus. Everybody's scary. They hear that word, ooh, the lemniscus. Like that's one of those brain things. All lemniscus means is going to the thalamus. Whenever you hear that, it's just some pathway that's going to the thalamus. And most neurological pathways are named either like where they're coming from, where they're going to, or their location anatomically, and the medial lemniscus happens to be medial to, guess what, the lateral lemniscus, which is for hearing. Comes up to the brain and then ultimately goes to the thalamus and then goes out to the parietal lobe, which is in the postcentral gyrus area. Okay. Um, this is going to be spinothalamic, which is basically going to be your pain pathway. Its second order neuron crosses because its synapse is here. So if I have a lesion, right, out in the periphery, okay, or depending upon where it is, I can figure out from these two pathways, is it in the peripheral nerve, is it at the spinal cord, is it the brainstem, the cerebellum, the cerebrum. So one if way information can get up. Spinal cerebellar pathways, right, there's really two of them, dorsal and ventral. And these guys are basically the ones that carry the mechanoreceptor information up. Where do they go? Spino from the spine, cerebellum to the cerebellum. Okay, and they are going to be one of the primary inputs into the cerebellum. Spinal cerebellar tracts are one of the big ones. Vestibular cerebellar tracts are one of the other big ones. Okay? So they're going to provide information up. And the cool thing about the spinal cerebellar pathways is I've got a double copy. The ventral and dorsal are pretty much double. The dorsal spinal cerebellar pathway takes the information from the muscle spindle and brings it up to the cerebellum. The ventral one is a feedback loop. So basically what it does is it takes a copy of that efferent information and doubles it back to the cerebellum. So we've got a system of checks and balances, one system checking the other. It's way cool.